Hello everybody, in this tutorial I wanted to go over how to add starbursts in After Effects. This tutorial will work for Premiere Pro as well, though you're gonna have a little less control because you're limited with compositing effects. First thing you want to do is take your footage and drop it onto the timeline. You're gonna take the footage, copy and paste it, and disable the bottom layer so we could see what we're working with. So search for the effect Luma Key, take it and drop it onto the footage, set threshold all the way up to 255. Then what you want to do is search for the effect directional blur, take it and drop it onto your footage, set direction to 45, set blur length to 80, but you could play around with this setting to get a different look. Then you want to add the effect solid composite, drag it and drop it onto your footage, set color to black, the reason why we're adding solid composite is because it allows the next effect to work. So we're going to search for the effect exposure, drag it and drop it onto your footage and set the exposure to two. I find this value of two works best. So as you can see, without solid composite, you're not able to brighten the footage. I'm not sure why it works that way, but it is what it is. So what you're going to want to do after that is change a blending mode of this footage to you want to change it to screen and you want to re-enable the bottom layer so you could see how we're having streaks in the footage but we want to have a starburst so what we're going to have to do is to copy and paste the footage and take this value and we're going to have to change it from 45 to negative 45 and the effect is done um once you're at this point you can uh, play around with the footage there's a lot of control that you can have within After Effects to give yourself more options and more control. Let's say you want to change the blur length of uh, of the streaks. You can do that. You could set it to like, let's say 200. And then you can set the value from here to for 200 for both streaks and set the exposure to maybe five and maybe set the exposure here to five. Uh, so it just gives you way more control Okay, here's a bonus tip for some intermediate users. If you add a null object and add some basic expressions, you can have a much greater control of how the starburst effect is going to come out. So I added a slider for the streak size. I added a slider for the streak brightness. And I also added a slider for the streak rotation. So if you want a very specialized look, you can even add an expression for the angle, control, and change it so that over time, it changes rotation. And here's how it looks. This is a very special look. You wouldn't be able to get it in camera, and I'm definitely going to be using it for some of my future edits. Okay, here's how to do it in Premiere Pro. It's pretty much the same method, though you're going to be limited because you don't have things such as expressions and certain compositing effects. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is copy your footage. Then you want to disable the bottom layer, search for effect Luma Key. And you want to set cutoff all the way to 100%. Then you want to search for the effect Directional Blur. And you want to set Direction to 45 then you want to set blur length to 40. After that, you could duplicate the footage one more time and change the direction to minus 45 and re-enable the bottom layer. Now here's how it looks like in Premiere Pro. It's pretty much the same look as in how it looks like in After Effects. Though with After Effects, you get a lot more customization and you're going to have an easier time when it comes to keyframing and all that. If this tutorial helped you out, please subscribe and leave down in the comments below what future video editing tutorials you'd want to see from me in the future. Thank you and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.